Guys, thank you for stopping by. So today my big question is to wind or not to wind? What do you guys prefer? You guys prefer an automatic movement or do you guys prefer a hand wound movement? Now, I got one of each. One of each. I got a Vaju 7750, which is noisy, it's rattly. I'm gonna show you guys. Let's see if the mic could pick this up. You probably were able to hear that. And then you have a nice Voyager 7733 with a hand wound movement. Now guys, um, now nowadays a lot of you guys prefer the the uh, the automatic the hand wound. I'm sorry, you guys prefer the hand wound movement. You there's uh, there's more demand for them. There's more demand for them. There they they. The thought right now, the mindset is that the Valju, it's more of a generic watch, and I'm here to defend them both, okay? And I'll give you my, my point of view on both of them. So, the, the, the Valju, the 7750, which is the most affordable chronograph watch you could get, or if everything has CTA, so Valju is CTA, but if we're, if we're doing, I'm doing chronographs because that's what I have in my hand right now, so, it's the most affordable. It's the most um, the most bang for buck you could get, and in a chronograph watch. So, for me to say that it's a bad watch, I can't do that. Even though it's noisy, even though it rattles, you could hear it. It's still an excellent, an excellent watch. But as an everyday, as an everyday watch, as a watch that I'm going to wear every day and use day in and day out I cannot I, I couldn't have a um, a hand wound watch I would forget to wind it I would forget to set it I would forget I, I I would forget about the watch and then when I needed to know the time the watch wouldn't be there for me and what's the point about having a watch if when you need it it's not there for you you know so as a daily wear watch I couldn't I couldn't do the uh, the hand wound I would do a automatic watch whatever you guys use you know and if you think about a rolex rolex how many how many rolex do you know other than the cellini or people call it cellini so other than the cellini how, how many rolex do you guys know to for them to be uh hand wound rolex has been automatic forever and ever from the bubble back to now there, there is not many if not any uh rolex that'll make them in a uh, in a in a hand wound movement. So the the reason I'm bringing this up is because like the uh, the Omega, the Speedmaster with the 321, the Omania 321. It's a very sought after. It's a very sought after watch because of the hand winding. And if even even in today's comparison, if if you buy a hand wound Speedmaster, it it'll demand more money than a automatic. But why would you buy a tool watch that requires attention every day? Now remember, these are, these watches are meant for for work. They're they're not the luxury, or they they weren't meant for the luxury that they once were. You know, the Speedmaster that watch was meant to go to the moon and back. So that's why it was a hand wound. That's why because it, they 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 couldn't find a rotor that would uh, gravitate in, in zero gravity. So but but that's back then. I I bet that today, if, if people that that go to the moon, they're probably taking a G Shock. They're not taking a Speedmaster. But we're not making a big deal out of that. So that's that's my only thing. That we have to we have to look look and let and and appreciate the 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 advancements that the watch the the watch market has done. You know with with their automatic rotors with their new power reserves that are just crazy for me it's crazy to think that uh a new watch i, I could wear it take it off and set it aside and three days later without it being in a, in a winder the watch is going to be working so i mean i appreciate all the i appreciate all the advancements that the watch the, the watch uh, uh companies are doing for us to have a better experience with our timepieces but at the end of the day, a hand wound watch. I mean, the the interaction 
with you and your watch every day in the morning, winding it, setting it, looking at it, and just dedicating two, three seconds to your watch, there is nothing like it. You know, that this watch I, I will wear on weekends. It's my uh, Sheffield Panda. And uh, it's something I enjoy doing, but on the weekends, on, on, on a day where I'm not in a hurry, on a day where I could, I could spend time with it. You know that's that's the collector in me. That's the uh, the the guy that that's in love with watches. That is that person. But the guy that works nine to five and that I gotta run out of that door and uh, coffee in one hand and car keys in the other. I I don't have I don't have the time to dedicate to my time machine. I I do need that automatic rotor to do the job for me. I do need. That uh, that watch. If I want to wear a mechanical watch, I need it to be uh, self-sufficient. I need that watch to do everything by its own, you know. So, so that 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 is my opinion on automatic versus um, versus hand wound. So basically, I'm the same. I prefer them both. So, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? What do you guys prefer? What do you guys like the most? Automatics hand wound so guys let me know i appreciate your support thank you so much please like and subscribe if you haven't done so and i will see you guys on the next one thank you so much